Good evening, everyone. The man, the myth, the legend is in the house. BB Create is here. Welcome into this special stream that we're doing tonight. Happy Friday, everyone. Cheers. Jones, John, T. Rish, Astro Zombies, Lady, Broman, Goaty, George, Brother, Brother here. All right, so um, tonight is special for a couple reasons. One, because it'll be the first stream. Um, you guys might probably didn't notice at all this week, but I went private after the stream on Mon Mon Monday. Um, and this is the first family only stream, you guys. And I want to present this to you in a way that it'll make sense. As I feel like, you know, I wouldn't be doing this, whatever this thing is, without the support of BB Create and also Nerd Pins. Um, Joe and Miguel both are like uh, two of the most, I've, I've run out of adjectives and proper words to describe the souls that they have and the types of people, the types of quality of, of person that they are and like how, how I can only describe it as like I've lived in this city for 12 years and you know I have my brother here in this city and I love him to death but I we are alone here in that way and I am somewhat of an outcast of my own making amongst a lot of other people that I've come in circles with while living here and so I've said before I've come and gone in many different things and this is something that's like totally different than all of them and I love it I just I love um I love this pin community and I wouldn't be doing this at all I really wouldn't be doing this at all without the support of Miguel and Joe so I wanted to take one stream to thank them and promote the thing on Sunday that they're doing, which is having, I would say it's more than a pop-up. <laughs> this word, this, these two words are like so trendy and, and catchy for us to be using to describe something that's totally something, this is, a, this is the spark that the barbecue that Joe hosted, that Nerd Pens hosted, that now is continuing on to this fire that's beginning here at this thing that's gonna have so many people I can't wait to meet and and shake hands with and talk about art and life and work and how pens help and how like I don't even know like how you know how people can how people can come together over these silly little things that mean so much more on other levels because the things that they represent resonate to each of us individually and as individuals we come together in a harm harmonious grouping because of these things which bring us all together and unite us in a way that nothing else nothing else not music not movies because the only way i can describe it is, is Every single thing that BB creates or every single thing that Nerd Pins makes is not for me. And there's nothing wrong with that. But you know what is for me? Everything else that is for me of theirs. And that's what I love about them. Not what I don't like about them, because it's not about that. It's about what they do that I love. And they do everything that I love right. Everything that I love about this pin community, about what I expect out of what I buy, about what I'm collecting, about why I care about what it's made with and how it's made and the importance in which it's released and special offerings and incentives and the, f the friendly good feelings that I get when I get a package from one of them or interact with one of them or have now become friends with them. It's people like that that I miss in this city and that I've found again in this community. So that's what this is about. I am just showing mad love to all my people and there are a bunch of other y'all that I feel the same way about, but right now, wig snatched. <laughs> but right now, because of what they're putting on on Sunday at the um, Angel City, I just thought I'd have a little stream with them. Um, and I put as many 
Nerd pins, pins as I think I have, because honestly, you guys, I have so many fucking pins. I went over to all three boards today, and I looked at all three boards and tried to find every single nerd pins pin that I could find, because there's so many different ones that I wanted to make sure that I got them all. So I only pulled out, because I have so many BBs, all of my BB Create actual BBs, not the other things that they've done, but only the, the BB inspired the BB-8 inspired pins that they've made that I have. So we'll look at those real quick and then I was gonna open some pin mail because I thought that would be kind of fun because I've never done something like that and I got some great stuff today. So I thought it would be fun to just open up the mail live because y'all know that, and I got all kinds of stuff. I got stuff from Broman, T-Rich, Get Rich. I got stuff from Pinfirmary. I got stuff from Unaffiliated, from Han Holo Art, yep. Shifty, yep. So let's look at some of these pins, yo. I've I put a lot of these up before, but you know, there's nothing wrong with going back over really quality pins from quality makers. So let's start in the top left here with some nerd pins. So this is one of the OG nerd pins right here, this crayon pony fish from, um, hang on from uh, Life Aquatic. And you gotta admire the color work and the detail on the color work here. You know, it's hard to see sometimes somewhat with this light, but the variations of teeny tiny colors inside that, really just super detail. That's soft enamel. And then we got a hard enamel, these, these two balloon, single posts that I've done before. Say George here with his Bowie out, Bowie'd out here. The detail in the in the Aladdin Sane stripe on the face with his, his Zisu uh, shoes. The OG Mendel's box, the first pin that Nerd Pins ever made. The hard enamel, single post. But it, the first pin they ever made, what did they have on the back, everybody? That back stamp. Had that back stamp. Tower of Terror, soft enamel epoxy. I believe this could be screen printed. Joe could clear that up for me. But this is an ode to what is no longer there at Disneyland, which is now the Guardians of the Galaxy thing. So, Dad, your blimp, hard enamel. Double posted on that though. Keep going down, got the Mendel's truck here. The Tenenbaum triplets, both my Aubrey's. We got the screen printed soft enamel, or epoxy, and we got um, the soft enamel straight up. And then guacamole chaser here over the, the double posted that I've done before here. Moving over to the other side. This is the infamous Jesus glitter ball that I've, I believe maybe I've told the story or not, but I this I got this pin for, this is my free pin. My first free pin from Nerd Pins was this pin. Amazing glitter, look at this. This is where I fell in love with glitter pins, you guys. I was like, oh my God, this Jesus ball is like so bomb. And I wore it to Texas for my alma mater's national championship game and in the airport, somebody complimented me on it. And I went to the bathroom and we took my bags and everything and I came back and sat down again and I sat my bag down in a different way and I guess the pin was closer to him because I didn't notice he swiped it off my bag. I guess I'd had a rubber backing on it and I didn't know to have a locking back on it and he just swiped it right off. Because I know he took it. How else would it have, you know, like he did, that pin especially would not have just come off all by itself, that one especially. So I figured he swiped it. Anyway, Joe was awesome enough to hook me up with that again later, much later. But gotta love that. Then we got Aria here, who, I'm, who I've done. Peter Sellers, Dr. Strangelove. Love this pen, love the purple in it. I mean the purple and uh, pink variant. Like it's, I guess not so much purple or peach. I guess it kind of looks purple to me in the, maybe I'm a little bit blind here. The Tyrion Lannister. Hard enamel, all three of these are hard enamel, as well as the glittered out box Chevy, which this was the first edition that he's done a repressing of now. 
Word, Midnight Society's in LA, you guys. That's exciting. Glad you guys made it safely. That's amazing. So we got the uh, model uh, Maitland home here. Model Maitland home with the spider on it. Lydia. Soft enamels. Moving on, I thought, what better placement than the Fuck You Shell BB, which I guess I don't remember the exact name for this. Could you share the exact name for this too? Yeah, we gotta get that stew house made. Don't give all the ideas away on the stream, brethren. <laughs> So this, wait, this I believe is the first edition uh, collector's pen that I was given by them a long time ago, which was awesome. Fantastic first edition collectors. Then I was given the second edition collectors, which was awesome so I'm like wow I'm a double I'm a two-time BB create collector okay great that's pretty cool so let's move on to some BBs then so this is one that I don't believe is officially out yet actually in the shop this is a variant of their one that has been released but the other one is the imper is the um, rebel the rebel uh, coffee Barista, BB, soft enamel. Had to have this, got this at the Feeling Crafty. The BB-8 stamp, BB create stamp. Got the grill from the barbecue, the, gr the, bar the Nerd Pins BB Create Barbecue Edition. BB, hard enamel. Of course, Captain Underpants glitter variant. I gave the regular soft enamel to a little cousin. Got the BB, the Zombie 8 here from the Walking Dead set. Coconut 8, hard enamel. So soft enamel, hard enamel, soft with epoxy. All right. The coconuts from the barbecue series too. Oh, it's all good, Miguel. We're just talking all about your pins. <laughs> Um, got the the BB bong with the, the collab with Was Happening. Got that What Was Happening stamp BB stamp on the back. Love that. It's one of my favorite ones, actually. This guy here. Then I got this one recently, also at Feeling Crafty. So these two, I got a Feeling Crafty. This this uh, knitting yarn one, which is totally beautiful i think it is soft enamel but it's got like a, a a different kind of feel to it like it's yeah it's like dark nickel limited love the line work and i told miguel i was like yo you don't even know the colors that are actually represented here are the colors on my high school alma mater you know Good morning, black orange and white i was black orange and white Good. Look at the cutout on the yarn here on the tail here, you know gotta love that You know, I'm a big fan of that there and the and the antenna here It just it's, it feels cool. It's a great pen. I had to have it reminds me of my grandma my nanny gray Who knitted everything under the Sun booties dish rags sweaters hats socks scarves She did crochet she did all kinds of shit. So it reminds me of her. It's great and it's my school high school colors It's fantastic so then I ended up getting this one somehow. I don't remember when I got sent this one, but this is the third collector's pin from BB Create. So I've got three different collector's pins from BB Create. One, two, three. I wonder if there's a fourth coming, because you know, four is my number. So we got this guy here, which comes <laughs> complete with the movable magnetic rod. Which is awesome. What's up, Carrie? Welcome in. Electric Grave, I see you now. BTS, BTS8 Electric. 
Then we got the Laker 8. Purple home home edition, I believe. Or no, this is a way edition. And then we got the Heart Enamel Donut 8. Pizza 8. Heart Enamel. Dodger 8 Soft Enamel Home. Dodger 8 Soft Enamel Away. The Spray Can 8 with What's Happening as well. Oh no, this is, um, no, this isn't What's Happening. This is, uh, uh, who is this? M Dub, yep. M Dub. You be creating M Dub. Like this one too. I like this one and the um, BB Bong collab that they did a lot. And the grill and the yarn. Those are like my th my favorites of all these. So there we have it. Who is he, Gip? Who is he, Gip? Who is he, Gip? You could probably look for Who some of Gip? these. At the, uh, at the at the at the um, pins and pints on Sunday, they might have some of these available. I believe the electric eight is um, yes we are, available in we their are, game in their like five dollar game thing that they do, which is now Blinko. We are, we are, we are. <laughs> they changed it. They made this new thing, so it's excellent. So let's open some fucking pens, shall we? Let's open shifties first. Some stickers, yes, always appreciated the stickers. Stone. Ah, the Mando Undead variants. Both of them. Mando Undead variants. Uh, yeah, the new shifty today is so amazing. I'm not a predator or alien guy so thank god my pocketbook was saved today but um you know the next one's gonna be star wars so i'm fucked there so we got these coming soon it's exciting next y'all know cody chestnut what's up data crew Sometimes I don't understand. Ooh, this thing is. I'm affiliated. You really. Ooh, All right, that's it. Just a pen and hard as fuck to get into. But it's Mutt Cut's van from Dumb and Dumber. We got that. Over to Labor Day. Confirmary. We did a trade, and they sent me like five extra pins. But I traded for, let's just show what I traded for. Jackie Treehorn, sketch. <laughs> you know I had to have this, you guys. Any Lebowski fan had to have. We'll look at all those another time. I have to start being more selective, you guys. I'm sorry to say it, fam. This is why we're having a private stream tonight. Because I wanted y'all to know that I've been getting some harassment lately. In a way that I don't like. From people that feel they should just be entitled to having their pins here. <laughs> We got the new Space Invader Turtles from Get Rich Sloco. But you know, it's just, it comes with the territory. No money, more problems. <laughs> so, that's how it goes. I look forward to trading some pins on Sunday, I hope. I'm gonna bring a bunch of pins to trade, so I hope everybody that comes is looking to trade. I hope I can find something to trade with you guys. That would be great. Okay. Ahoy, Pin Pirate, hope you like it. Please mention me in the collab, in this collab pin. Thanks, Ryan, Brian. 
Awesome, Brian. Sure, dude. Oh, this is this the uh, Stranger Things Squirtle. Um, that's called Squinston. Stranger Squirtle. <laughs> Hard enamel, double posted. It's pretty fun. <coughs> pretty dope. And last but not least, this is from this is from T. Rish and, and Bro Man, and I just got to take a moment and show you the backing that he did that they drew on this. So dope. Yard pin pirate. Love it, Captain. Okay, we got a, we got a, looks like we got a Butcher Vision keychain. <laughs> That's pretty funny. The Homer, uh, Michael Myers. A couple Butcher Vision pins. Looks like uh, Strangers. That's the legend. Is it Rhodes? I don't know who this is. It's a, it looks like a wrestling pin. Tell me who this is, bro, man. Wolf Cop, yes. Wolf Cop. That's excellent. Parallel, the Lisa Simpson smoking weed button. Smoking a cigarette button. <laughs> I need shirts that say peace, love, and yard. <laughs> Thanks, Nat. I'll look into that as soon as I make a pin. I'm working on things, you guys. Some board vendors cards. Sweet. Thanks, you guys. This is sweet. That's nice of you all. You don't have to do that. Very nice. Alright, so there it is. Pin mail. Exposed. Pretty fun. <laughs> no idea who the wrestler's supposed to be. Uh, that's okay. So yeah, I'm going to bring pins to trade on Sunday. Uh, I'm trying to try not to spend too much money, but I'm already committed to a few dollars to a few people, so I budgeted for that. And I'm going to bring the weed. So if you're smoking, I rolled it. So let's do it. All right. Um, but just remember, I'm not a slouch. So. I don't drink much anymore, so I'm gonna have maybe one, two beers, and that's it. We're gonna be smoking the rest of the time, so. I'm gonna hang out as long as I can, because I don't know what I'm gonna do with the dogs, and, um. Pin mail is the best mail. Unless it's a check in the mail. <laughs> and that contributes to buying more pin mail, so, to getting more pin mail, so. But see, that's the problem with Sunday, is it's gonna be so much more than just some pins. Like, I'm getting a couple shirts from people already, like, um, hat. <laughs> I'm just ridiculous, I'm ridiculous. But see, this is all about supporting the brands that I love too. So I wanna just have that on my arsenal to um, keep doing what I'm doing in a way that promotes and helps spread the love and the um, awareness of what I love. And that's what I think is quality. So, there it is. The pin of the day was um, Hello Nurse from the vintage one-of-a-kind Hello Nurse from Pintrill. It's on my story right now. You can check it out. Yeah, hopefully I win some pins. I don't know. I don't think about winning pins anymore because, honestly, the generosity that's been shown to me because of this, and it's honestly been overwhelming because I feel like I'm getting a little bit... Um, I'm getting a little bit... Uh, 
I don't know what burnt out on it just a little bit because I'm not trying to promote everybody under the sun's pins. That's not what this is about. This is about showing you the quality that I find and the pins that I find and the pins that I buy. Specifically the pins that I buy and the pins that I trade. Everyone that I buy from and trade with who send me extras or send me whatever else is between us because we worked that out because I would have gotten it probably any fucking way. And they're trying to scratch my back and help me out too because I they know that this is a good marketing tool for them and that this is going to become something more the longer that I keep doing it. So I don't want to stop because I know that it's important for the community and it's honestly very cathartic for me in a weird, selfish way. I did kind of miss it this week, but I was glad not to do it because I've been devising my plan for Flare Frenzy 2. Because yes, I'm staying private and I don't know when I'm, when I'm going to not be private anymore because I've had a little bit of an issue with this. So I'm trying to scale back the trolls or else turn this into a business Instagram and then I'd be able to combat that a lot better. So that's what I'm just weighing and that's what the honesty I'm putting out there to everyone who already follows me that's going to watch this and nobody random out there in the sphere that doesn't know what's going on here. Okay? I've been playing a fun game with the new people. I asked them, hey, what's the password? That's what's up with that most recent post. Hey, what's the password? And the password is New England Clam Chowder. And it is the white. Okay? That is my password. So... If you want to tell people that you know that want to follow me what the password is for now, we can do that. I've been asking everyone and screening everyone so far to make sure that A, they're real, and B, they're not someone that I don't want being a part of this. And I'm trying to combat this crowd that's trying to essentially sabotage and or I don't know what's going on behind the scenes of some of these makers, but get lives. If you're watching this somehow, get lives. Um, and try to make yourselves better before you come up and me telling me that I'm not doing what I'm doing right. Okay? Thank you. That's all. I love you guys so much. I'll see you on Sunday. We're going to stream a bunch. I got a, a, There's going to be live stream segments with the mid, with Midnight Dogs, Download Pins, Punch a Chewy Press. Probably going to get some one-on-one -on -one stuff with Nerd Pins and BB Create. And I'm probably going to have a whole bunch of first-time interactions with other people. Um, on live stream including Rad Honey who we have met before but we've never done live stream stuff together and um, a bunch of other makers probably too well, Debonic Pinfestation I'm so excited to meet them of course Midnight Society um, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Mess Syndicate there and hopefully Pizza Boys can stop by and all the other just so many other makers that are gonna George and Nostalgia Vault like the, the whole the whole squad it's gonna be as the Pizza Boys say sword lit so there it is all right <laughs> I'm sure. I'll bring the mouthwash. It's all good. All right. Uh, yeah. Stay tuned for the goodness on Sunday. All right, you guys. Peace, love, and yard. Have a good weekend.